Let me show you how I made this promo music teaser video in Camtasia. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so if you don't know, my business partner, Arit, the other half of Esatino, she is a singer and she is releasing new music this year. And because I'm a video editor, I've been making her video promo materials. So let me show you what I made for this teaser video. Pretty cool, right? That was a 20 second clip showcasing and being a teaser for her upcoming song. By the time that this comes out, the song is already on Spotify. You can see the name of it right here. So let me show you how I made this thing. So this is the timeline right now. You can see that it was only 20 seconds long and in total we've got six tracks. I ended up canceling this track here, track three, so we've got six tracks going. So track one, I always like to start with the music. Now because this is a promo video for my business partner and her new song called Escape, that's obviously going to be down at the bottom. Now I created three promo teaser videos in total and we actually wanted to tease the beginning, middle, and like a crazy part in the song. So this was teaser promo number one. So this is going to be like the beginning part of the song. And if you heard the song, you can see that it's not getting to a crazy part yet. It's more mysterious, soft, and that leads into the water here. I specifically chose this clip not only because it looks so cool, but because I thought that it matched the theme of the song. So what I did was I went on to Motion Array, which is where we get our video footage from. And if you're interested in checking them out, you guys can head down to the description below. But I love Motion Array and their wide variety of really cool abstract video footage, b-roll footage that you can use. Oh, and just a side note, you can see that this video is vertical. You want to make sure to set your project settings and the size dimensions before you actually start editing. So this was mainly for Instagram and shorts. So that's why it's vertical, but you know, you can put this on Facebook as well. And how you set your project dimensions is going file, project settings, and you can see it is at the 19 by 16, which is vertical, which is under here. So you just want to make sure to set that, click apply and set that before you start doing any editing. Because if you edit it widescreen and then later on you want to switch it to vertical, you're going to have to resize everything and it's going to be a pain in the butt. Next was the video footage of the water here. So this is the video footage of the water and I got this from a website called Motion Array. So I found this one here and I felt that it matched the song really well. You can see that my business partner, Arit, her album cover is this right here of Escape. So it already had a water theme going on. And so I went on to Motion Array and I found this clip and I thought it was so cool. This was the original clip. You can see that it is just a regular widescreen clip here, but I zoomed into it for the actual promo video. And you can see it, it already makes the clip look so different when it's zoomed in that close. So don't be afraid to alter clips and I'm going to show you some layering that I do and changing the colors. Don't be afraid to play around with that kind of stuff when you're creating a creative piece of work. So. Just by zooming into this, all I did was take this clip and I just zoomed into it and I played around with the placement of the splash. Now I could have had it more off to the side. I was playing around with all different things. What would it, what would look cool? And I, I really liked the formation of the splash and the droplets. So I did pretty much keep it in the center, but don't be afraid to like move it around and see what area you like. Like maybe you like only that part 
and you want to be a little bit off to the side. So that was track two. We'll skip track three because I ended up not using that in the end. And we'll actually head over to track number six because I added these two actually at the end. So we'll head over to track six, which I also got from Storyblocks. And this is this galaxy nebula thing. So we wanted to create like a fantasy type feeling because this, that's what the song is, right? You get that mysterious vibe. And so we wanted to meld water and the galaxy together because they're two opposites, right? Water's down below, galaxy's up high. So this was the galaxy here that we found. And I, I love space and galaxy and all this kind of stuff. Plus I love the colors. So we wanted to layer this on top of the water. So you can see here the galaxy is up here on track six and the water's down below. You Whatever you want to do a fade on top of, you need to have that on top because if I had the water on top, then the galaxy would be more prominent because what you're doing is you're heading over to the right hand side and you're changing the opacity, which basically means you are making it more see-through and you're overlaying this see-through look on top of whatever's down below. And in this case, it's the water. So you can see that there is a faint galaxy thing happening in the background. If I turn the galaxy off, you can see that it is very noticeable that yes, the galaxy is missing. So the whole point was to try and make it look like it's one. And I think we did that. So that was the galaxy also from Motion Array. Can't recommend them enough. They have really cool stuff on there. With the water, we did end up adding a color adjustment because the water originally was this color right here, but we wanted to add a little bit more of some contrast and some saturation to exaggerate it even more. So you can see if I turn it off, it's a little bit more faded. So I added more contrast, more, uh, you know, definition and saturation with the blues. After that, we added this blurred vision here. And I actually got this from the Camtasia Assets. So this is if you have the Camtasia Assets subscription they had this thing called blurred vision. And I'll just pull it up here. It looked like this. And you can see that we changed the color of the blurred vision. The color over here is black and the bluish. So we took a sample of the blue over here, changed the wording, obviously. I did some uh, advanced technique and I actually went into the actual blurred vision asset and removed the mirroring. So you can see here that I did like the, you know, the haze and the blurred vision, but I didn't necessarily like the mirroring effect that was on here. So I went to the plus button here. And this is more of an advanced technique. You know, if you, if you aren't comfortable playing around with this, then I wouldn't use this. But basically I went to the text and I found where they had the reflection and I just turned it off. And then I did it for the other text, found the reflection, and then I turned it off. And you can see that it turns that mirroring effect, reflection effect off. So that's more of an advanced technique. So that was the text right there, matching it to the colors. It already had a really cool effect. Like if something already has something that you already want to do, you can just use it and customize it instead of trying to create it for yourself. It does save time. So I could have created this myself, but it would have taken longer. So I saw this right away. I thought it went with a the theme. And so I added it in. Next here is the date at which this song was released. And this was just a simple text call out. We lowered the opacity to 70%. And then we did add a behavior, which was just a simple fade in. I'll explain the other fades afterwards. And then same thing here, my business partner's artist name, which is Leora. That's her logo there. So I'm just going to head over to the media. This is her logo. We actually tried it with the black logo and the white logo. 
and the white logo looked better for this video. In general, you always want to have like a dark logo and a light logo because you never know which one's going to look good. Originally, I, you know, I wanted to use the black logo, but it wasn't really looking good. It was too harsh. And so we ended up going with the white logo. Also, having it at 81 opacity, just because we're, we're trying to just create this like everything's in the water type effect. So that's why I'm using a lot of opacity here. And you can see that the Leora logo fades in at the end here, and then everything fades out at the end. There was this cool effect, I'm not sure if you just saw it, but you can see here, right at the end, there's this quick thing where escape is in blue. And that's what the blurred here. And we're able to do that because the blurred effect here, you know, I was playing it and I noticed that it does this cool blue effect at the end. So we ended up leaving that while have, having everything else turn to like a black and white. And so this would be left there at the end. And so we thought that would be kind of a cool effect. And it's kind of like, you know, it really fades out there at the end, the last word there. So believe it or not, you know, this clip is 20 seconds, but with all the tweaking and the testing and playing around, it did take me two hours to complete. So when you're doing something, you know, creative and abstract, depending on what you're playing with, it can take a long time. So be aware of that. But when I created the second and third one, it was a lot faster because I had more of a base of what I was going for now. And so it's always like the first version of something new that takes the longest. And so that's the breakdown of how I created this promo video for the song Escape by Leora on Spotify. Hit the thumbs up button if you thought this video was cool. And if you want to know how I create videos like this, check out my Camtasia course. It's 10 plus hours long. I have taken everything that I've done and learned on Camtasia and put it in this course that you can get lifetime access to. The link for that will be down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.